So let's check out our nice new apartment for five whole days. But don't be alarmed, it's uh, not like the apartments we've stayed before. And well, this is a hotel. Come in. So, of course. Oui. <laughs> What else might he be doing? <laughs> Our whole room is like this. Basically, the bed is about 180 centimeters. If you are any taller, you will not fit. When we open this baggage, it takes all the hole. And yeah, when we open the second baggage, it takes all this space. Right now, we cleaned up for you guys. 15 minutes ago, it was like all the floors were covered with our stuff. Like all of this, I could not walk. <laughs> Basically, I was just hopping through our baggage. <laughs> and yeah, on the pictures, it was small, but we're like, yeah, it's like four nights, it's okay. Well, and it is. It, I must say, this is uh, overall, it is good and there are no like stains on the walls or anything the bed is good and uh, yeah we even have a window and it's on uh, well first this is a preview of the area where we live we will talk about it more later in the video that was a surprise we didn't expect but yeah there you have the nice area and you could walk to it and we were expecting to live somewhere like that <laughs> basically now to the part that is the most fun here I'm standing next to a door that leads to, you probably can guess it right, to the bathroom. And just look. So basically this is the shower, ta-da, <laughs> the sink, and yeah, the toilet. So the whole of bathroom is super tiny. If you are a larger person than me, then you might experience some problems even i even i bump into this if i stand like this so renee told me this room is about 100 euro per night no <laughs> renee did not <laughs> but this is such a big room i mean all of this you can get for 18 dollar a night 18 dollar 18 dollar a night yeah i say it's for a that good price deal. For yeah. that price, I think it's a good deal. Overall, everything is clean, it's modern and everything. It's well thought out. It's just really small. It is functional, like yeah. there are, but even to put clothes on, it was like all over this table, like half the table was our clothes. Another like third part is our devices and everything. And even then we couldn't fit it all. And it's like, yeah, it's not enough. We are very lucky and very happy that our marriage is this good because otherwise we <laughs> could not have filmed this for you guys. <laughs> yeah, by the way, yeah, if you are newlyweds and you really want to see if uh, you can make it to, you know, one year, two year, three years, whatever, <laughs> you can get into this room, test your marriage and in a previous video, we gave you a sneak peek of our new baggage and I promised you to share our experience with it. And these baggages are from level 8 and actually we were always buying the cheap ones. We didn't think it's worth it to invest in better ones. After one, two trips, something would break down, like their wheels will break down or some edges will. But what we found out now is that you can actually get your bags in the same condition that you put them on the belt. And they are rolling really easy, but because they are rolling so good, it's also really fun to play with them. So I'm really happy with this one because this is coming wherever you go really easy. Yeah, uh, now we traveled from Kuala Lumpur to Manila and the flight was so much easier when I didn't have to carry a backpack like, like usually like i did for five years now my back can relax finally so this suitcase also works as a safe we can lock it up and then nobody knows what's in it so it's a lot less likely to be stolen so if you want a reliable and easy to carry luggage then i would recommend getting yourself one of the level eight bags to get a 10 percent discount click the link in the description and use the promo code olga10 we thought we were going to stay in Makati and that's supposed to be a nice uh, skyscraper, upscale, upscale yeah, area where we are going. But our hotel is right, right on, on the edge. edge. Yeah, right on the edge. Basically, you have an uh, area like this, which is quite local. Quite local, yeah. Our first impression, I think, was that we both were a bit scared, so to say. <laughs> because it is very local. 
very noisy too. The interesting part for me is that I had to get used to it again. Even though we are traveling in Asia and we do see it in more countries. Um, yeah, first, especially the area where we were, because it's also so busy. Um, yeah, and there's a wet market all, all the yeah. time. On the road, there's a wet market. So it, yeah, so it, it was has a bit overwhelming. And yeah. Wet market smells. Yeah. Wet market stuff, as you know. And for the people who don't know, wet markets have fish and meat. Yeah, fresh fish and fresh meat. Over there you already can see the skyscrapers. Well, here you see this. They're actually really friendly. Yeah, they are friendly. They are nodding and letting you pass and everything. Most of the people are just... <laughs> yeah, like those guys, they are just... It's fun to meet a foreigner and it's fun to engage a little bit. Maybe they even see themselves on YouTube later on. Yeah, yeah, so... For me, I don't feel scared. Not only because I have a bodyguard. This one. <laughs> We start with this. Look how fluffy he is. Oh, you can choose. You can choose the style. Just look at this. We are just 10 minute walk from where we are staying and we are already in New York, more or less, probably. I haven't been to New York yet, but that's how I imagine it looks like in the city center. Probably there are also quite shady areas, but yeah, and all of this surrounded by malls and police is tight, security is tight. No joking. People working out, running. So I think I don't need my husband anymore. Bye -bye. No, you don't need to guard me anymore. Bye boy? Bye -bye. Why? But I was joking. <laughs> you <t> no, don't go. <laughs> no. <laughs> Palm trees right there in the middle of the building. That's cool. And here you have a mini, mini park, mini central park. So almost New York. <laughs> Funny stops. So this is a food street. And we only discovered it on our last day. <laughs> Yeah, well, better late than never, maybe next time. A really cool waterfall. Haven't seen something like this. Yeah, one more fountain. All kinds of shopping and I bet these chandeliers they are really cool you know in the evening when they are lit up well the prices is more or less similar to what we paid for takeout for delivery a bit higher I think yeah. chicken tikka tikka yeah, so uh, up to 400 more or less so this was Bonifacio High Street. 
This could be a definitely a nice place to live. <laughs> I bet apartments here are not cheap at all. Yeah, more restaurants. All kinds of food that you could dream of. Japanese. More restaurants and bars. Bollywood. <laughs> Japan. So that's the Indian. Chinese New Year is coming soon, so this is all for it. Christmas decorations are quickly replaced with Chinese New Year decorations. It's a really nice place. Uh, we made it to this nice area. How is it called again? Greenbelt. Greenbelt. Yeah, Makati. this is Greenbelt Mall in Makati. This is where uh, the Makati is where every foreigner probably stays and goes in Manila and shows. And it is pretty. Yeah. All the skyscrapers, it just makes you feel super safe and also very clean. See, it's very well ma maintained. And probably if you want to live here in Manila, this then, is the area where. Yeah, Makati is probably. <coughs> gonna suit everyone's needs and even for the prices I saw that you can have uh, like a quick lunch in a small cafe here for 200 pesos starting 200 pesos you can go higher to more fancier places but yeah even 200 pesos for lunch for one person is quite affordable I would say yeah and a place like this was more what I thought of when I booked a hotel <laughs> in Makati yeah 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 <laughs> yeah but I still think it's an important uh, thing to see how life is different, to yeah. stay humble, to not sure. think, the, to not take things for granted. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't see, you don't even know how yeah. other people live and you don't appreciate what you have. In here in Makati, in general, it's like as soon as you step out of the metro train station, you're already like it's a different world compared to where we stay. It really feels like a different world <laughs> indeed, yeah. yeah. It's like a different country or something. Yeah. yeah. And it, it doesn't mean that uh, one is good and the other not. Uh, definitely yeah. not, um, I must say, because I, I actually also really like the area. <laughs> it's just uh, different. 